Hello there, Professor Mulberry here. Today we're going to talk about the reprints and speculate a little bit, but we're going to come from it from a place of science, from a place of understanding, from a place of knowledge. We have to understand rotations in order to understand reprints, so we're going to talk about it. But first, we need to thank today's sponsor, us, Cardinal Gaming. If you go to the website, cardinalgaming.com, you can go and click on this link set here at the top. If you're looking for card singles, scroll a little further down, sealed product, not just for Pokemon, but for Flesh and Blood, Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh! All those things will be right here, including live breaks if you want to participate in those. Scroll a, bit, a little bit further down. We have the big major events that we're doing. Big 1Ks, including the one coming up for Pokemon on April the 15th. As soon as Scarlet and Violet is legal, we're running a big 1K event for that. So you don't want to miss that if you're local. And then a little bit further down, Cardinal merch. You got your hoodies, you got your playmats. And if you really love the Race Against Rotation series, you can buy your own little bulk lots right here, right off our website. CardinalGaming.com. Check it out. Hey everybody, Mason here, Cardinal Gaming. I mean, Professor Mulberry at the Cardinal Lab and Institute. Appreciate to click on the video, supporting the channel, supporting the lab. Okay, that doesn't really work. But I got the lab coat on because I'm trying to uh, give you guys a little more in-depth uh, speculation regarding rotation, reprints, things like that. And they, they are very much married together. And just so you guys don't know, or if you guys aren't aware, we are having a rotation here this weekend out of the, the D block into the E, F, and now G markings on your cards. So, uh, yeah, rotation is going to happen, and it's important because when things rotate out of standard, things are less likely to get reprinted from Pokemon. So, let's break it down, let's talk about it, um, dust off the, uh, the lab coat here, and uh, give you guys a little rundown and uh, let you know how things go. So, here we go on Pokemon.com. This is the TCG card game expansions. Uh, they have a nice fancy list of when they came out. If you want to look at this yourself, you can. Uh, so we got Sword and Shield, Rebel Clash, Darkness Blaze, Champion's Path, Viv Voltage, and then Shining Fates here. Uh, all these are rotating out. They have the deregulation marks, so they are going away. Then we have the E block. E block starts with Battle Styles. So Battle Styles is... Uh, our D block is Battle Styles, Chilling Raid, Evolving Skies, Celebrations, Fusion Strike, and then Brewing Stars starts F. So E block here is currently in standard, will be in the next standard as well. But the real question is, when is Pokemon going to rotate? Not here in April, but the next time they rotate. It's, it's kind of tricky because we already have... Uh, a well-established principle that everything has always rotated after Worlds. Worlds is uh, this year in August in Japan, and then they they normally do uh, a little bit a little while after that, and then they'll rotate and have rotation happen in a, and around Worlds. So that is what I would expect to happen this year as well. Even though we just rotated in April, now. We've had, for a very long time, the D, the E's, and the F's all, all together in the same uh, standard, which we have not ever seen before. And you can kind of see in standard right now where the, the past format was really broken, really weird, really just gross, because there's such a wide card pool. All of uh, Sword and Shield was all legal through its entire printing, <laughs> which is kind of unbelievable and, and has never been a thing in Pokemon before. So to have the entire expansion of the Sword and Shield card uh, generation is kind of weird. This never happened before in any other generation. We've always had rotation uh, more or less right after a, a set turns two to three years. Because if it's always on a set date, some get more play and a longer play than others, right? So it's not always just like every every three months a new set just falls off. It's, it's at a, a set point. So... This year we did it uh, a little late, and I, I, I can assume because they wanted to let everybody have a chance to use these cards and use these decks that they've been buying over the pandemic to actually be able to use them to play now. So that's going to be uh, what's happened and is going to happen this weekend. Uh, but yes, are we going to rotate in August? I would bet yes, but you never know. You never know. Pokemon might throw us another curveball. They might do it till um, 
I think Japan, they wait till the beginning of the year. We might do that. And then maybe again we'll go and then we'll do it in August. So we kind of go back to and, and get recalibrated that way. We really don't know. It's all speculation. But we have the, the history of, of this. And as you can tell, the E block is what we're looking at. D's gone. D's dead and gone. Uh, Sword and Shield, Rebel Clash, all, all these. It's very safe to say that these are not getting a reprint. We just had Shining Fates getting dumped. And it's at distribution right now. I can buy ETBs of Shining Fates. They're way overpriced and, and really gross, but that, 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 that's a whole different video. Let's not talk about that. Right now, this is this these sets are sudden setting. And then now, Battle Styles, Chilling Rain, Evolving Sky, Celebrations, Fusion Strike, those are the next ones that are on the chopping block. Interesting. Interesting to see and kind of look at. Um... We could potentially only have this three-month window where Pokemon is going to either reprint or not reprint these sets. It's a scary thought, right? Because there's this bad boy right here, right here in the, the middle of this, this E-block. Very expensive set, right? We already know Celebration's not getting reprinted. They've already, they've already said, Pokemon said, we're done printing Celebrations, so there's no more of that. Uh, what's on the market is, is, is there. You always skies, though. I think there's a chance that if production keeps going the way it is, you know, Palde Evolved is printing, we gotta get 151 right behind that because remember, things got pushed back. Uh, we may run out of time before these sets can be reprinted, if they're gonna reprint them. That 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 calls for the old I know, we're mixing we're mixing things here. I'm not I'm not even gonna call right now, but I'm just saying. There's a chance the Always Guys does not get reprinted at this current state. What's out there is out there, and this is this is where we're at. It's scary. I know. Alright. Hats off. But we have three months. Wait, April, May, June, July, August. We have four months four months, basically, for them to get the product out there. And again, Shiny Fates is currently in distribution, being pushed. Well, that was reprint or whatever it was, we don't know. But and then Pokemon themselves will kind of keep a backlog of stuff and then put them uh certain packs and old sets into like uh premium boxes you know uh old like um the new trainer school toolkit it'll get those uh you know older packs and things like that upcs have just like a whole variety of pack of of all these things that's pokemon that has had a stockpile of these packs that they're going to put in these products when they go to package just to add a little variety give some people a different flavor if they're not used to getting all kinds of different stuff or different sets uh, gives you a little bit of uh, a little taste of all the stuff. Uh, we've recently seen Pokemon dumping Chilling Rain and Evolving Skies at Costco's Sam's Clubs. That is what I'm going to assume is their slush leaving. So these packs are never going to be used in product again. That, again, this is me speculating. We will never see these packs again, potentially. P potentially. Kind of kind of off. Kind of. Right, so. If you're asking my opinion, I'm thinking that we're... That is the writing on the wall that Pokemon is saying, alright, we gotta get rid of this, because we're, we're gonna rev up rotation to happen at the end of August. I'm, I'm gonna take that for what it, I can read. I, I can only get a gist of, of what it is. But I'm gonna say... I'm going to make the call that we're not going to see these sets. We may see some Fusion Strike. That might be the last thing that we see, Fusion Strike, as like a little extra little slush or a, um, extra little product of it. But Brilliant Stars is currently being reprinted right now. We had ETBs. We have ETBs for months now. We've I've been able to buy ETBs of, of Brilliant Stars for a while. And they had talked about at the end of October, kind of going into... Um, Lost Origin, Silver Tempest kind of time frame that we were going to get some more Brilliant Stars, and we never did until, like, the beginning of this year. We finally got some ETBs of Brilliant Stars, and now we're seeing booster boxes of Brilliant Stars. Not a lot. It's all restricted, and, and it's it's there's not a lot of it out there. But can you see what I'm, 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 what I'm alluding to here? Is that Pokemon may have moved on already. <laughs> we, may be, we may be trucking down the road. Uh, and then the next one we get a reprint of is Asteroidians. 
And then, uh, well, Pokemon Go is a specialty, so it doesn't really count. And then, you know, maybe this summer we'll see more Lost Origin and Silver Tempest. But then we just keep going. We, just, we keep going. We're going to keep going. You guys see my point? We may be in a world where the E block doesn't get reprinted. It just doesn't. Because it's going to be rotated in August. That's how it's always been. That's Pokemon. If they they win against this, I'd be really surprised. And all the evidence is pointing to that they're done with chilling range of all these guys. They're pushing it out. All the packs that they had no longer going into products. And we're getting all these products now. Brain Stars, Astro Radiance, Lost Origins, Silver Tempest. All these Pokeball tins and uh, lunch boxes and all this stuff. They all have these new packs in them now. Maybe a little bit of Fusion Strike. Again, they're trying to kind of kind of pushing Fusion Strike out too. Uh, but most of the time, it's in these boxes that you're getting the Silver Tempest, Astro Radiance, Brilliant Stars. So, I don't know, guys. It's all pointing to uh, Evolving Skies may not get a reprint. We may not see any more booster boxes of Evolving Skies, for sure. Uh, in re uh, doing the research for this, I wanted to show you guys a, a website again. Uh, just in Basil, if you guys are familiar with the website, awesome website, has all kinds of great information. Uh, they actually have... You can go uh, set by set and and look and see. I'm going to turn it over just a little bit. Uh, every card, every card, every every card in all these sets, Sword and Shield, Rebel Clash, they have them all listed on this website, and it'll tell you whether or not it's rotating or not. Again, this is super useful information. Uh, if something gets reprinted or something like that, it does affect uh, costs. If you think of like the secret rares and things like that, the more things that get reprinted, the more likely that we're going to see. Uh, kind of like a little price bump, like we've seen with judges, with, like we've seen with uh, nest balls, things like that. So this is a really good list, helpful list. Uh, Rebel Clash again had some a couple of reprints in it, nothing really major. Boss's orders is going to be forever and standard, it seems like. Uh, look at Darkness Blaze though. Darkness Blaze has nothing. It's everything's rotating. Everything's gone out of Darkness Blaze. Not a single card stays. But again, you can go through this list, and if it's interesting to you, just kind of note things. Look at Vivid Voltage. All gone as well. Shiny Face was a reprint set. Uh, there are a couple things that have uh, E-regulation marks in, in Shiny Face. For the most part, everything from that set that was exclusive to that is rotating. There's just a few cards that have E-regulation marks. So, interesting, interesting thing. And then obviously, we're, we're into uh, the later sets as well. So, things to think about, things to look at, guys. Uh, Again, all the evidence points that we're not seeing any more booster boxes from these sets anymore. We're just not. Prices are what they are, and uh, I'm not saying this is the way it's going to be, but I'm going to say that it is uh, a high probability. That's a very scientifically way to say that. There's a high probability that we just don't see these sets anymore. That's all I got, guys. Appreciate you guys clicking on my video, supporting the channel, supporting the store. I'll see you guys in the next one.